Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 selections for tomorrow's horse race in action. If you've never seen us here on the channel what we do is every day we make a Lucky 15 uh, bet selections and we see how they do. They sometimes come in for us, not all of them, but we sometimes get a couple of doubles. We've had a treble on the channel as well and um, yeah we just need that all important uh, four horses up on the Lucky 15 bet to make us, uh, well not millionaires, but at least uh, have a nice bit of money in hand but um i'm just going to go through on how today's selections ran um not a bad day i suppose we finally were back among the winners with um western him which was the frankie de Tory and john gosden combination really good performance denying u.s army ranger he just uh came with a late run down at the end and he managed to pip him on the line so that was good there by frankie he'd been a bit unlucky um the way his rides had been going at chester also, the other horses we backed today were El Hayam, who was the well back favourite in the first race at Chester. Slightly disappointing there, because he had a really good draw, but he didn't capitalise on that. And um, he did finish strongly towards the end, but uh, he just never was in the race from the start, and he definitely needed to be there with uh, the draw. Also, as well, we had Rosabelle, which uh, again had a good draw, but again started badly and uh, was always up against it. And also we had a Mirage Dancer who, um, to be fair, again, didn't get the great start and again was always up against it, but finished uh, not too badly. And um, I reckon another day might have given um, Aidan O'Brien's horse a run for its money. But that was a bit unlucky today. We had the one winner. He came for us at uh, 15 to 2, Western Him, because we backed him uh, at early prices, but he ended up going off at something like 7 to 2 in the end after a couple of uh, non runners. But um, we still made a profit on him on our lucky 15, so uh, I'm not complaining there. But I'm going to be making some selections for tomorrow's racing. A couple of uh, good race meetings tomorrow, especially uh, Ascot and also. Uh, Good um, flat and uh, jumps card at Haydock. They're combining forces tomorrow, uh, both sides of the horse racing world. And that's where we're going tomorrow for our first selection at Haydock in the two o'clock with a horse called Myers Storm, which will be uh, ridden by Wayne Hutchinson, who's riding for Alan King. This horse really likes um, the good ground and it'll definitely get it tomorrow. This horse is really progressive. It's running off a good uh, handicap mark. I think it's around about 126. And it'll be uh, low down in the weights tomorrow. I think he's running off uh, 10 stone too. So um, that's good there. And it's had a, quite a few uh, wins under its uh, belt when it's run under this type of ground. And in a wide open handicap race, I definitely see a horse like this definitely being in the business end of things. And it wouldn't surprise me if Maya Storm could... Uh, uh, go and uh, come in for us there. We're in about 9-1 to one with bookmakers at the moment, and I definitely think there could be a little bit of money for that horse overnight if um, people start maybe watching this vlog or start reading into the race a little bit more, and I think it's definitely got a chance to uh, be uh, one of the leading contenders in that race. So that's what I'm going for there, Myers Storm. The second selection I'm going to make for tomorrow in our lucky 15 sees us go over to Ascot in the 2.15 with a horse called Moatem, which is... Uh, going to be trained by uh, Owen Burrows and will be ridden as well by uh, the champion jockey Jim Crowley. Now this horse uh, ran at Yarmouth on a return for its seasonal uh, reappearance. It ran really well there. It won uh, by about three lengths and that, even though the handicapper did whack it up a couple of pounds uh, for that uh, run, this horse is also going up in trip tomorrow, but it looked like um, it needed a little bit further in distance the way it bolted up last time. And also as well, I don't think um, the handicap has been too harsh on it with a riser. I definitely think this horse is still unexposed and is definitely capable of running a good race tomorrow. It's currently around 5-1 to with bookmakers at the moment, and again, I expect that price to shorten as we get near a race time. So if you're watching this now... And you can see this horse for around about 5 to 1. That's Moa 10. Definitely take it. And that's going to be our second selection. The third selection that I'm going for tomorrow will see us stay at Ascot for uh, the Victoria Cup in the 4 o'clock there. Horse I'm back in here is Fast Net Tempest, which um, is trained by William Haggis, who's a top trainer, and will be ridden by um, Josephine Gordon, who's many people's uh, dark horse, maybe for the flat jockeys uh, championship, but I'm not necessarily uh, confident that she'll win that quite yet, but I definitely think she has the quality one day to uh, 
maybe uh, definitely challenge at least and possibly go on to win that title. But I think she still needs a little bit more experience on her belt. But she's definitely got the talent for what she showed on the all-weather um, circuit in the winter to um, hopefully uh, have a good season at least for her. But um, yeah, this horse anyway, uh, last time we saw it, ran at Newbury on its uh, seasonal reappearance, where it finished third in the Spring Cup, and the forms worked out not too bad. On that day, it beat um, El Hayem, who finished second at Chester today, so that wasn't a bad performance. And also as well, it beat a horse called George William, who's gone on to run not a bad race since. Also, um, as well, the handicapper hasn't been too cruel to this horse. It's only just put it up. And tomorrow, this horse as well um, uh, is dropping back in trip by a furlong. And um, the race it ran at Newbury was over eight uh, furlongs. And it was leading towards the end, but it just got pipped on the line by two other horses to uh, demote that horse to third. So um, a lot of things to like about with um, that move from William Haggis, dropping it back in trip. And uh, a lot of people were already latching on to this one already, and I can see why. And he's currently 11-2 to two bookmakers at the moment, and I've seen other bookmakers um, around as well. Um, I can't remember who it was, but I think Coral were possibly doing him at 9-2, to two, and I managed to uh, find him at 11-2. to two. So um, take that price now if you can, because I think his next market rival is probably, I think it was about 8 or 9-1 to one for the next uh horse in that race so um yeah this horse is definitely being back that's fast snare tempest the uh, last uh, selection we're going tomorrow in our lucky 15 four sees us go back to haydock in the 455 there with a horse called hammersley uh lake both the champions from the jumping world team up here we've got richard johnson the champion jockey and we've got nicky henderson the champion trainer this horse hammersley lake definitely seems like the class act on paper he's currently five to two with um bookmakers at the moment he uh, won on his season reappearance at Huntington in a small field of only three runners, but he definitely showed he was the class in that race and uh, a lot better than anything else. Um, he won by about 30-odd lengths, I think, in the end. And it was a really nice performance. The handicapper hasn't been too cruel. I don't think he's even put him up, actually, uh, now you come to mention it. So um, he's ran about 5-2 to two there. Rich Johnson was on board that day when it won, so it's got a good uh, relationship with this jockey. And um, it definitely, like we said, seems like the class source on paper. A few of its other rivals have got a few more questions um, to uh, answer than uh, Hamsley Lake. And I think um, Hamsley Lake will um, be too good for some of these other horses running in there tomorrow. You've got like another um, Nick Henson horse called Kilcrea Vale who uh, has been very inconsistent. And um, there's a John Joe O'Neill horse at, I think it's called Champagne at Tara, which does have some appeal to it but um it's not always been the best jumper and um i was either torn between uh, that one or hamsley lake and in the end i went for hamsley lake because i think that possibly the better jump in um will uh get that one over the line compared to uh champagne at tara but probably no and i like that a uh, horse hamsley lake will fall at the first but uh that's horse racing and if you've got any red hot tips uh, for tomorrow's um horse racing action do let us know in the comments box below also follow us on facebook at lucky loaders 15 also um sign up to us on twitter at lucky loaders 15 as well subscribe to us more on the channel here for more uh, daily horse racing predictions gamble responsibly and i'll see you soon